Welcome to Circles Woodshop. My name is David. Thank you. I am working on the die for the clock tonight. I kind of, what I have is a sample, you know, board. It's bird's eye maple. I got it from my neighbor. He's a really cool dude. Cool dude. Anyway, so I essentially have sanded one side to 80, one side to 120. And uh, let's see what, you know, how that will affect the color. I have this, yeah, ordered this that came in. A few days ago. It's the first time I've had a chance to actually play with it, so the one thing I noticed is that uh, it comes out a lot faster than I was thinking. I mixed it in denatured alcohol. Um, I don't know, see how that works. So I will bring the camera over and kind of position and we'll just start putting color on. See where it goes. So this is what I have. This side sand is to 80, this is 120. I've cleaned the board with some um, denatured alcohol, kind of got all the dust off of it that I could. I've mixed this up per the manufacturer recommendations, I guess. Anyway, so what I will do is just kind of start putting color on this board. This is the first time I've ever done this, so this is kind of exciting. I think it'll be kind of neat. Let's uh, see what happens. I predict that I'm gonna have to mix a lot more purple dye. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's just get this on. Hmm. Okay, so uh, obviously, let's do more purple. Well, that's a lot more purple. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's see. So, apply one thick, even, not really thick, but one consistent color across. Work it in. I was watching these videos from this guy named like Big D's Guitars or something. Um, he does a lot of like coloring with woods. Built some really cool guitar bodies. You guys should check him out. But that's who I was watching for, you know, demonstration on the actual color process. It's kind of cool. I live in a very loud neighborhood. Sorry. So I know that you hear, you know, muscle cars up along the highway. Anyway, this is where at right now. This is probably about 10 minutes since I put it on. I live in a very uh, dry environment so it's probably dry pretty quickly. Start playing around with sanding it back down. See how that looks. Let it sit for a little bit longer though. I don't know. I think it looks cool. There's different ways where you can, you know, add black down first, and that would add some depth to the color. I didn't want to do that. I was just, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. I sanded down with a 120, and this is kind of what it's left with. I don't, I don't know. You know, <laughs> I have no idea. I think. You know, there's, I think it needs more depth, so that would be the, you know, the black dye, but do I really want to order more, you know, more dye? I don't know, the whole purple thing might be too much. I'm going to sand this down with 80 and see how far it goes down. I, I like the way it kind of is highlighting the, uh, the eyes and giving them that, you know, depth, that purple that I was looking for, but I don't know about the way this looks up through here. I do realize that the grain is a lot different there. You know, I get that. Uh, the other board that I'll be using has a lot more character to it than this. So that kind of makes me a little concerned. It's, uh, 
this board has like tons of character to it, you know, as opposed to the other one. You can kind of make it out, right? You should be able to see that. So I am a little cautious how it's going to work on this. It might need that black dye for that depth. I don't know. I'm just going to sand this down, see what it looks like, kind of go from there. Yeah. I was looking at the boards. The test piece that I used is not actually from the actual work material. This has a lot more character, as I said earlier. So what I decided to do, um, I don't feel like I'm getting a true idea of what the other board would look like using this piece. Uh, so I'm just going to, I just flipped the board over to the back and I sanded it down to 120 and now I'm going to start just putting some color into the small spots or small little sections in the back. I'm just cleaning it off with some denatured alcohol. See, this, this wood is just really pretty, you know? Let me get this stuff out of the way. You guys see that? I hope. And then I put the dye in here. I think... I think I'm gonna add a little more. So, see this here? I'm just gonna add a little bit more here. I gotta get the art of getting the dye out. Just mix that up here. Must remember the face of this is on the other side. I don't want it to be purple yet. Right. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so, um,. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, I can already tell this is working. It's doing what I want it to do more than in the other board. So let me get the streets out. Yeah, difficult to get the streets out. And obviously every time I go over it, it's applying more color. It really is kind of learning that balance, you know? That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's uh, let that do its thing. Uh, I guess over here I could even go darker, right? Um, maybe if I just apply more and more color, actually more toner there, but it's more streaks, more layers, I guess. See what happens. I think, let's experiment with this. Seems like it works it in a little bit more. Kind of cool. Let's put some more on. <laughs> I do like that color purple though. I like that deep purple. That's why I wonder how some black underneath would look. This is working fairly well. I think that's about that. I guess I could just keep that in there. Just found a little mason jar to put that stuff in. That's where that is. Um, so this is on the actual <laughs> work material itself. Mind you, on the back of it. Uh, essentially, this one, as you saw, I, it's there. This one, I was attempting to go a little heavier with it. Uh, we'll see how that looks. I'm not even going to mess with this. I'm just going to let it sit overnight and see what it looks like tomorrow. I guess 
the uh, well, let's come up here. So I guess the one thing I could do um, is show you the boxes that I've been building this last week. So a little dusty, but turning out fairly cool. So essentially, just used black primer, uh, a little cheaper than you know chalkboard paint. And then uh, it's on both sides, right? You see there? And of course, my fiance wrote that. And then this little frames. I put, you know, splines here on the edges. I think it looks cool. Add a little bit more support. Uh, this one turned out pretty cool. I like that. I used some of the offcuts of when I was making the rabbits to join it all together. These little pieces that were coming out. I just made it into a spline. I like this one. Use the darker wood with the little uh, sapwood frame here. Some cool contrast. It's got like 15 of them built. I need frames, I got four, five more frames to put the splines in and then sand those down and then I think that leaves, I only have to make one more frame but I'll do that later. So I've been pretty busy so that's where it's at. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this and I subscribe, comment, I don't know. have a good day, have a good night, whatever it is, time that you're watching this. Circles Woodshop, thank you.